एवरीवन वेलकम अगेन ऑन माय चैनल इजी नॉमिक्स आई एम श्वेता गोयल एंड ऑन दिस चैनल आई टीच इकोनॉमिक्स फॉर द इकोनॉमिक ऑप्शनल एंड वेरियस कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन सो इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू द सीरीज ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मार्केट एंड दिस वीडियो इज फॉर द a uh, part 2 of the monopolistic competition market in which we will study about the concept of excess capacity so yeah let's get started monopolistic market we ha we have to study the concept of excess capacity in this i'll be explaining to you the how mechanism is working so to understand the mechanism first watch out my video of Uh, pre, uh, the previous video of this monopolistic competition part one of the video in which I explain to you the equilibrium mechanism. Only then you will be under able to understand this video. So basically, excess capacity was given by explained by three e economists: Morris Dobb, Robinson, and Chamberlain. They explained the excess capacity in their own way. so we will study the three uh, economist concept of excess capacity now let's understand what is the meaning of excess capacity so excess capacity is a term used where in imperfect competitive markets firms operate at the level below of minimum of average cost even by earning the normal profit it means there is an uh, wastage of resources in which optimum utilization of resources does not happen and this concept is known as the excess capacity which is a unique concept to the monopolistic competition or imperfect competitive market now this concept why this excess capacity occurs um, let's study the uh, morris dob robinson and the chamberlain model of excess capacity so first morris dob explained that this was our model average cost curve marginal cost curve ar curve and the mr curve now we operate here where our mr is equals to mc and at the same time your ar perceived is equals to ar proportional just assume ar proportional exists in this diagram i just did not draw this to simplify the diagram and to make you understand uh, just ex just assume that this is your ar proportional curve which is also exist here so in the equilibrium your ar perceived is equals to ar proportional and mr is equals to mc so this is your equilibrium but this point is not equals to your minimum of avc or ac average cost curve so this 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 difference is known as the excess capacity from e to g this difference is known as excess capacity because firms is not producing at the minimum of ac and by doing this firms are creating the वेस्टेज ऑफ रिसोर्सेज सो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इवन आप देखो यहाँ पे फॉर्म इज डूइंग ए आर इज इक्वल्स टू ए सी प्राइजिंग इवन बाई डूइंग ए आर इज इक्वल्स टू ए सी प्राइजिंग फॉर्म आर क्रिएटिंग द एक्सेस कैपेसिटी इन द मार्केट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एक्सेस कैपेसिटी इज डेवलप्ड बाई द मॉरस टॉप एंड मॉरस टॉप टॉक्ड अबाउट द लॉन्ग रन फॉर्म इट अकॉर्डिंग टू द मॉरस फॉर्म आर टेकिंग डिसीजन इन द लॉन्ग रन and so creating excess capacity in the long run so this much excess capacity will be created now this uh, excess capacity concept is further explained by the robinson by making some changes to it so let's study the robinson model so robinson explained that firms are not taking decision in the long run and it's not maximizing its profit in the long run but firms are trying to maximize its profit in the short run only so what we did um This was our long run EC curve, ये वाला ये long run EC curve था and ये AR था ये MR था Now what Robinson said? Robinson said that ये तो हमें ऑलरेडी पता है पहले से कि जो long run uh, AC curve होता है that is अ एनवल अप टू शॉर्ट रन मतलब अगर ये long run curve है तो इसके अंदर ऐसे ऐसे बहुत सारी short run curves होते हैं तो इसने बोला don't take the long run AC curve. This is your MC short run. and this is your mr so your equilibrium will be uh, not at long run ar but your short run mc yahan hoga short run ac theek hai to short run ac jo hoga wo tumhara yahan equilibrium aayega so isne bola ki tum yahan achieve kar rahe ho lekin short run ac ka jo minimum tha wo ye tha short run ac ka minimum ye tha tumne yahan achieve kara to tumhari jo excess capacity hogi will be this much only 
अकॉर्डिंग टू मॉरस दी एक्सेस कैपेसिटी यहाँ थी लॉन्ग रन के मिनिमम पे बट अकॉर्डिंग टू रॉबिनसन योर एक्सेस कैपेसिटी विल बी एट दिस वेयर योर शॉर्ट रन ए का मिनिमम एग्जिस्ट करेगा सो दिस इज योर एक्सेस कैपेसिटी अकॉर्डिंग टू रॉबिनसन विच इज मच लेसर देन दी एक्सेस कैपेसिटी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द मॉरिस डॉप बिकॉज मॉरिस डॉप टॉक अबाउट द लॉन्ग रन इक्विलिब्रियम एंड रॉबिनसन टॉक अबाउट द शॉर्ट रन इक्विलिब्रियम सो दिस इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रॉबिनसन नाउ फर्दर डेवलपमेंट हैज बीन डन ऑन द रॉबिनसन मॉडल बाय द चेंबर लेन सो चेंबर लेन सेट दैट इफ फॉर्म्स आर कंपीटिंग इन द आउटपुट इट मीन्स ओनली ए आर परसीव करव इज रेलिवेंट फॉर द फॉर्म फॉर्म्स आर कंपीटिंग इन आउटपुट देन देर इज नो एक्सेस कैपेसिटी एग्जिस्ट इन द इकोनमी देयर विल बी ऑप्टिमम यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेज फॉर्म्स विल बी अर्निंग नॉर्मल प्रॉफिट एंड देयर विल बी नो एक्सेस कैपेसिटी इन द इकोनमी फॉर्म्स यहाँ ऑपरेट करेंगे इक्वलीब्रियम होगा नो एक्सेस कैपेसिटी इन द इक्वलीब्रियम इफ फॉर्म्स आर कंपीटिंग इन द आउटपुट नाउ चेंबरलिन फर्दर सेड If firms are competing in price, if one firm changes its price, other firms will also respond by changing the price. So, if firms are competing in price, and if one firm is earning super normal profit, it will attract other firms to enter into the market. This will increase the supply of the market, and by increasing the supply, your AR per C AR proportional curve will shift backward. When you compete in quantity, your AR perceived curve is relevant. But when you compete in price, your AR proportional curve is relevant. So this was the normal case. In that case, you were not having any excess capacity. But similarly, let's now assume that firms are competing in price. New firms are entering into the market. So your AR proportional curve will sh start shifting backward. ठीक है और ये कहाँ तक shift करेगा जब तक ये LAC long run एवरेज कॉस्ट कर्व के टेंजेंट नहीं आ जाता ए आर कर्व क्योंकि ए आर एंड ए सी कर्व इक्वल चाहिए ना तो टेंजेंसी चाहिए सो इट विल शिफ्ट बैकवर्ड इट विल बिकम टेंजेंट टू दी एल ए सी कर्व अर्लियर इट वॉज ओनली इंटरसेक्टिंग लॉन्ग रन एवरेज कर्व इट वॉज नॉट टेंजेंट टू दी कर्व सो अगर मैं जूम करके दिखाऊँ तो ये यहाँ शिफ्ट हुआ अर्लियर इट वॉज ओनली इंटरसेक्टिंग नाउ इट इज इट बिकम्स टेंजेंट सो इट शिफ्ट बैकवर्ड दिस इज योर न्यू क्यू दिस इज योर न्यू क्यू वन so this is known as your excess capacity the capacity which created by shifting the ar proportional curve is known as your excess capacity in the economy which will be in this much only so these were the three concept of excess capacity explained by the different economists three different economists morris explained it for long run that you should operate at the minimum of av ac if you are not operating it at then you are uh, having uh, the problem of uh, excess capacity then robinson said that this is not true firms are operating in short run and excess capacity is much much lesser than the explained by the morris and then chamberlain said no firms are operating in long run but there is no excess capacity if they are competing in output but we will be having excess capacity only if firms are competing in price so this was the three cases i hope you are clear with the concept of excess capacity um Yes this completes the topic of monopolistic competition and in the next class we will study about the oligopoly market and that would be the last topic of different types of market series so you yeah, are do subscribe my channel if you really liking my content and share it with your friends stay tuned thank you